Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today we're going to make an arrangement that would be ideal maybe as a pedestal, but also as a funeral item. And the source of our inspiration for this is really some beautiful cymbidium orchids. Now, I've got a box of mixed colours, so we're going to make an arrangement that's really colourful and tropical and just a little bit different. So, the first thing I want to do is uh, we've got our base, which is basically two blocks of wet floral foam, and that's on a tree, and I've put it onto this stand, which is perfect. And the first thing we're going to do is add some foliage. So I have some really beautiful ivy, uh, which has just got the perfect shape. So, as I've said, uh, before we're based in the UK and uh, we don't tend to make funeral items that are uh, on a stand which is actually a little bit daft because it's such a great way it's really a cross between a pedestal and a spray and then when you want you can actually lie the item flat as well so I think it's quite interesting making an arrangement like this. But what I wanted to do with this is, was rather than making a quite traditional shape, was make something that's just a little bit different. So we're going to have a bit of a drop with our ivy, uh, which I think is going to give it a bit of movement. And the main foliage I've got here is I've got these beautiful palm. So we're going to use our palm as a bit of a feature and also really as a kind of background for our flowers. So it's really nice being able to use something a little bit different as well. And with this design, rather than blending everything together, into kind of homogenous shape, what I thought we would do with this was make more of a feature of the different elements. So we have our palm creating a shape here, our ivy going this way, and then really I've got some really nice phoenix palm that we can use to create a little bit of a line going this way as well. So what we're really looking for is just a bit of interest and bringing things so they have a little bit more impact as well. Now, I don't want this to be too flat neither, so we'll bring some of this up. And this is really giving us a nice line of palm, a nice line of uh, ivy, and a nice weight with that, um, that palm. Now, I've also got some really nice aspidistra. So because the tropical flowers you tend to think of having foliage that's quite bold, that's got quite a lot of impact, then we can basically use things like the Aspidistra that's quite big. Now if you want to get a nice shiny look on them, you can use like a leaf shine. Um, but to be honest, just a wet cloth and you can give them a bit of a wipe. That works just as well. So we've kind of created our base, which is going to be our framework for our flowers. And um, my main flower, or my main flower I said was the cymbidium, but I've also got these absolutely beautiful anthuriums. And this is a variety called pistache. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these to follow our lines. So. Where we've used the palm, the phoenix palm, we'll just 
follow that with our anthuriums. So we really are going big and bold. So this is an arrangement that is really designed for going in a, a big space and being seen from a good distance. So I'm just looking at the line on our on my flowers and where best to put them. And you do want some to kind of look behind as well. You don't want everything necessarily facing forward. And that'll give your arrangement a feeling of depth. So. I think we'll have one more up here. So straight away we've got a lot of impact with this line uh, of Anthurium. Do I want another one? Just maybe another one just in there would be good. Now, for our beautiful orchids. So my orchids are just a box of mixed cymbidium, certain size and I really want to just spread these through. I don't necessarily want to have like a pink section or a, a green section. I want it to feel like a celebration of colour. So even this yellow is nice. And I think that's the thing, if you're going to go with different colours, just really have different colours. So, the only one that was in this box that I didn't really like was a white. And that's really, to me, the white is too much. Um, or just too different. It tends to stand out and it doesn't look like a colour. So if you do have the white, I would probably use that for something else. But we're getting a lot of impact from our beautiful orchids. Now, I don't... I want to cut them to best advantage. And yeah, we've got that yellow there, so we can bring this one over to here. I think we're getting a lot of impact from this design. And yet, in some ways we've not used a lot of variation or a lot of variety of things. Um, it is literally just Anthurium's foliage and Cymbidium. Now, I do want to add just a few flowers to the centre. So I've got some beautiful Gerbera and yeah, it's an odd combination of colour, but I think it's a good punch of colour that is going to create a little bit of a focal focal piece to our design. And in a way they're just kind of breaking it up from being um, a little bit green. So I really want these flowers to basically sing uh, as the focal flower. Now normally you might think of putting the focal flower in um, first and that's a really good idea 
but actually when you've got big material like anthuriums or sometimes like some you know the calla lilies things that have got big thick stems it's worth placing them first you'll find it a lot easier um, and you'll get a better result but obviously you have to be mindful of where you are going to place your focal flowers towards the end as well The good thing with going down the path of using quite bold flowers is that you end up, you actually have less stems generally than if you were using quite a mixed sort of a look. And because you've got less stems, you still have good access to your base that you've got. Now, what we need to do is we just need to look back and see that there's no gaps. Now, when I come around here, I can see that there actually is a bit of a gap here, but that is taking that out. Um, if I want, with the Aspergistra, I can just fold them as well. And that's a good way of giving a little bit of a bulk down into the centre. It's really nice being able to make a video for you and create a design that's bigger than what we normally do um, and isn't necessarily a tabletop design. It's uh, nice to be able to stand and walk around an arrangement. A lot of people are scared of a big arrangements because they think they're going to be complicated. Actually, I think a big arrangement is easier to make than a small arrangement. So, because we've got these lovely, this is a bit like a ribbon or a bow when you do this with the Aspidistra. We'll just put one in there. Just gonna have a quick wee look. And to be honest, I think we do need another flower here. So, we'll just add. So, what we've created is a really visually stunning design. It's eye-catching because it's tropical. It's eye-catching because it's colourful. And because we've actually really clustered the foliage or used them in, in a different way rather than just mixing it all together, then we've got more impact as well. So I hope you've really enjoyed today's design. I've really enjoyed making it for you. And we have new videos every week and we would really love you to join us for our next design. So click here to subscribe, share this video with your friends and we look forward to seeing you soon.